hey guys how do you do welcome to show program users now we are starting uh, our web development with python right here now the first framework that we're going to be working with is our flask okay so flask actually is a micro framework that actually enables us to uh, make web powerful web applications in a very simple manner being a micro framework this doesn't mean that it's less powerful in fact it simply means that it's more flexible okay it doesn't get in your way when you want to make uh of course your application you don't spend so much time trying to of course install or configure so the first thing that you're going to need to do let's go ahead in our machine if you don't have git for windows or git for whatever operating system that you're using come right here come okay then come click download now once you've downloaded it uh we'll i'm going to require you okay you're going to have it right here once you've downloaded it go ahead open it and then what we're going to do come copy paste this particular command or just come right here type it in your git all right uh pip install flask okay go ahead type it over right there then of course enter it's going to install it it's actually a very simple file so go ahead install it then once of course it's installed it in your machine the next thing that you're going to do we're going to need to create of course our python application just right click then come uh, choose text give it whatever name you like okay so for instance then of course you go ahead uh, paste this particular piece of file right here then come click save us okay then come and then choose all files for instance all files then of course being that it's a python we come right here a dot pi okay so we're going to have it right here now of course the first thing that i'm assuming that you guys already have python installed if you don't have python go to uh, python.org slash downloads and then of course uh, download and install python right here for me i've installed the two versions 3.5.2 and of course 2.7.12 that's it once you've uh, done that one then of course right here we're going to have you can see right here our uh hello i oh, know our actually a uh, uh, file right here now what of if you want to execute it no if you want to execute it, it's very simple come right here then click git bash right here then of course we're simply going to say python a uh, that's it not really instead we're going to come and say python a dot pi then we execute it okay and if we execute it right here you can see it's running on http 12.7.0.0 and then port of course is 500 so that's what we're going to type in our browser right here make sure that it is running this way leave it that way then of course we come over right here and then we point our browser to that particular address okay that's where of course uh our we come right now if you come you can see hello world guys this is our first application everything is working fine right here you can see hello world uh right here okay so that's it of course for the editor you can use any editor that you like for instance let's say that i want to edit this one i can come and then edit it with whatever it uh, like that i want right here okay but then of course you can see right here we have our stuff working uh, perfectly right here we can go ahead edit it and of course add for uh, whatever uh, we like right here, for instance let's say uh, that we have it that way then of course we go ahead and then save and of course if we save right here if we come here and reload our app now in this case right here let's go ahead restart our server so come git bash right here then of course we're going to say python a dot pi let's restart our server to see our changes right here okay so we run it you can see right here it's running on that particular address if we come to our browser then of course we can just now point our browser and then see our changes uh, right here this this is it this is right here 
of course it's our hello world the purpose for this particular tutorial was to show us how to set up it's that simple in the next tutorial we shall be seeing of course uh more tutorials we shall be in working with bootstrap and of course flask so stay tuned